How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. So good to see you. Come sit down. All right. How's it going? Good? Good. Did you like your present? I loved it. I had so much fun. Not only is it so pretty to just look at, but I had fun playing around with it. I wanted to show you how to use it. I know it's quite intuitive. You have um, a concealer that you can use underneath your eyes, but also it's transparent enough to use all over your face where you need it. It starts as a natural approach to beauty, mm -hmm. but you can also have fun with it and build it up and play a yeah. little. I love the fact that you can build on it in so many different ways. I love that. I love that this product really does adjust to every person wearing it and every person using it, even to like how I change day to day. I, it's dynamic and it yeah. moves with you and it's not pushing one standard of being, but really supporting this idea of exploration. Yeah, and you can take it with you. It's got mm -hmm. three products in one, so it's very portable and like it helps I tested you to catch it. up it fast. It fits in my pocket. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Then, of course, you have your highlighter, which you use on the cheekbones, um, in a C shape, perhaps, on the bridge of the nose, on the top of the lips. And also, you can use it on your eyelid as well, like an eyeshadow. Oh, wow. So it brings a little bit of color and a little mm -hmm. bit of light to your eyes. Then you have a lip and cheek color, and you can just use your fingers to do that. What I love about this palette is it kind of goes back to how my family approaches makeup from this empowering place, from this place of having fun, being able to have all of these products that are versatile and using it as a tool of self-expression. And so exactly. it's never come from this place of necessity or need, but rather just true in, like enjoyment of the process. What's your routine? My routine is all over the place. I look in the mirror and it's a completely new process. But I feel like the one thing I'd have to say that's consistent would be music. Um, I love music. I mean, especially by artists who are socially engaged. And it's transforming and takes me to another dimension. In this dimension, you get to let go of whatever standard you have in your mind of yourself or whatever expectation you have or other people have of you. When we are alone, we don't need to cheat. It's just us. And I like to lose myself in those moments, as I think we all do. We know that eventually reality catches up, because it always does. But which reality is it? I feel like it's all a matter of perception.